New at 6, the after effects of this presidential election are being felt from coast to coast and now right here in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, a high school student says that he got in trouble for simply talking about politics on the school bus. News 5's Meg Shaw spoke exclusively with the student and his father. We have asked everybody on the bus not to talk about the politics while we're driving the bus. 17 year old Charlie Galansky is a Worcester Career Center student. He recorded this conversation on Friday on his cell phone. It's between his bus driver and his father, William. Charles, I'm Mr. Cole. Nice to meet you. I'm the bus driver is explaining why Charlie is being written up for discussing politics. It has problems with other students on the bus. People voted for this person, people voted for that person, and it becomes so loud that people talk and they, they hurt other people's feelings about it, and then they get upset. Mr. Miller has instructed us. The bus driver says the rule came straight from his boss, the Worcester Transportation Supervisor. That's, that's crazy. I mean, I just, I think that I should be knowing the goods and bads of the politics, and I think that. Knowing what's going on is better than staying ignorant and not knowing. How's the kids? How, how's any of these kids supposed to learn about politics if they don't talk about it? Charlie tells me the conversations between the students went on for three straight days, and nobody got upset. We were all civilized. I mean, we were all just talking normally. During the recorded conversation with the driver, William questions if it's even legal. So, in other words, you're taking away the rights of freedom of speech to these kids. To answer that question, we can turn to the Supreme Court case Tinker versus Des Moines School District. In the decision, the court says, quote, Our problem lies in the area where students in the exercise of the First Amendment rights collide with the rules of the school authorities. That's not right, you know. I do have a good attorney if I have to. And I just think that uh, the, the, they're, doing, they're going too far with telling these kids they can't speak. Meg Shaw, News 5. Now, of course, we realize that it is Sunday, but we did reach out to the school for its side of the story, and so far, we haven't heard back.